<clears throat> Market update on the 26th. I'm going to go over um, a bunch of AT ETFs and IWM, SPY, and QQQ today and the dollar. So if you watched my video yesterday on SPY, you'll know that I have us pretty much topped out on there. We can go to the 200 DMA on the daily or probably like 410 or this long-term trend line back from January. Those are the targets, most likely. And so I'm not going to go on the lower time frame here today, but let's just go over the entire picture here. So we have A, B, most likely scenario after this is A, B, C. <clears throat> Or we're looking at ABC, but this is a five wave move. Down here to complete the overall C wave. If this is ABC, it would actually be labeled WXY. If it's ABC zigzag, it'd be a five wave move after this. The targets are going to be anywhere from <clears throat> the 1.61 Fib here at 290 to about 3, 314. And then also, if we zoom out here on the monthly time frame, if this is a third wave, we'd also be throwing in the 0.38 Fib here at 324. So <clears throat> that is um, basically the targets of 324 all the way down to 290. 276 would be the 0.5 Fib. And so that'd be kind of invalidate the whole move. That would probably mean uh, that we are, it doesn't necessarily mean it, but there's a good chance that would mean that we actually topped here. So we're looking for like 290 to about 330 to complete this overall ABC correction. And then after that, we're looking at a move that can take us all the way to 555, all the way to 612. So we still got a little bit, little bit more to go, probably another three to six months to complete the overall fourth wave. And it's just long and annoying, but after that, we should get a pretty quick fifth wave. I bet you the fifth wave will only take us, see the first wave lasted about seven years. Third wave lasted about 13 years. We're probably gonna get something that's going to be even faster than the first wave. I wouldn't be surprised if it finishes in a couple of years. Um, or maybe even faster than that. I don't know. We'll see. But that's kind of the target for the fifth wave. So that's all I'm going to do on SPY. You can watch my uh, video from yesterday if you want like the smaller time frames. IWM. I have this labeled as a first wave finished. I think that's the most accurate. We have one, two. Let's go on the monthly. We have one, two, three, four, five. Label that as the overall first wave. The only other possibility is that this is going to be an expanded fifth wave. If that's the case, we have already hit the 0.5 fib, if that's the case, and we would move higher. It would go to ridiculously higher, actually to 335, pull back and almost go to 400 if this ends up being an expanded uh, fifth wave. But I think it's more likely that the first wave is finished because I think the overall market is gonna bleed more. So I don't see how this could go up higher. And I have it labeled on smaller time frames as <clears throat> W, X, Y, and then X right here. And then I'm looking for a, <clears throat> um, basically a either five wave move down here to 138, which is the 0.5 fib of this whole move right here. Let's see where that's at on the fibs. So 144 is a 1.23 fib, potentially all the way down here to 112. Um, Let's get our pullbacks. 0.38 Fib is probably more likely. Our 0.5 Fib, I mean. So we got 0.5 here at 140. 
and 112 is actually the 0.61 fib, that's possible. That is possible for a pullback here. So you got to be aware of that that is the 1.61 fib too of the Y wave. 112 exactly. If that were to happen, uh, this parallel line has this finishing October of 2023. So that would put it out a little bit farther. If he hit 138 only, it would be in April of 2023. So you can see that most likely growth stocks are going to have some more bleeding unless this is an expanded uh, fifth wave. In that case, we're going to go much higher here soon. But again, looking at the dollar and everything else, I give it like 95% chance that this is going to go lower over the next six months. So if you have growth stocks, make sure you're hedging, cover calls, puts, whatever. QQQ. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> I think QQQ is just pretty much similar to SPY. Um, we have one, two, three. Looks like possibly a fourth wave as well. On that fourth wave, let me remove all these. <clears throat> Probably the same thing as, basically the same thing as SPY. We have A, B, C, X, or B, one of the two. It really could be labeled W, X, Y, X, W, X, Y. If we end up going like this, or if it ends up being five waves, just like on SPY, one, two, three, four, five, it would be A, B, C. So let's get some targets here. So we have 269. This actually kind of looks like a five wave move to me. I think it's more likely going to be a five wave move here, but we will see. Um, this is definitely either A or one. If we zoom in here a little bit, we have A, B, C, A, B. And it looks like to me that this is a five wave move. So we have A, B, C. <clears throat> and if you look at this, one, two, three, four. It looks to me on the daily time frame we should get more upside in QQQ. Target going to be. Two ninety eight to three oh two would be my targets. Just based on fibs on the daily time frame. <clears throat> Let's see how far that pulled back now. And that pulls back right between the point five and point six one fibs. So QQQ looks like it has a little bit more upside. Looking for that to complete probably on this next week coming up, I would say. Fifth wave coming up. That would give it a little bit more upside. Give it about wrong way. Give it about 4% upside over the next probably a week or so. Remember, we have Powell speaking on the 30th. So... If we finish at, let's say we finish at 302 on, that's Friday. Let's say on Wednesday, 302. Then I would be looking for We'd be looking for, let's see what the 1.61 fib of the C wave is, or the A wave is. Let 
I'll be looking for most likely, let's see, 183 is a possibility. 1.23 fib is right here. And then let's see what the Or 204 is the 1.61 fib of this as well. How far did we come down before 254? So I would expect it to most likely not go past 183. And I would say that the 1.61 fib, that's either going to be a third wave. So it's either going to be one, two, three, four, five lower. Or this is going to be ABC, probably down here to 205. So that's showing somewhere around April and March as well. So this is pretty much finished. We got 298 to 302 coming up. Um, XLF, I have not charted this before, but I'm going to take a shot at it. I don't know if anybody cares about it. It's the financial sector. Sector. We'll see what has been leading the whole time. So 2009. This just looks like um, ABC to me. Eh, could be a four, five wave move, I guess. Actually kind of looks like IWM a lot. So if this is a five wave move. See how we bottomed right here. So it started in 2009 when they got bailed out. Five wave move. And it looks like it's starting this. We would expect this to come back all the way to 23, 26 on this pullback. Because this looks like a, a five wave move to me. So we have one, two, uh, three, no, three right here. Four right here, five right here. A, B, C, four. And then we have five right here. So we're looking for on XLF, A, B, C, back down here to a minimum of 23.26. So you pull it back from 41 all the way to 29. And you can see the 1.61 fib is right around there too. We could go lower than that, 20 to 23. But it really hasn't lost hardly at all. What is that? like? It's only down 12% since the top in January. So banks are doing pretty good overall. Pretty good sector to be in right now. But they should be le probably going to lose another... 30-40% I would say before it bottoms and yeah that's XLF so not too bad only down 12% of the year XLE okay bottomed right here looks like an ABC pattern to me so we have A B C and then we have A, B, C. And so it's probably just working on a, <clears throat> another ABC pattern. Um, let's see. A, B. Could be a five-wave move, too. Um, if that is the case, we'd basically just be looking for this to top let's see we got one two looks like three to me one two three four we'd be looking for a fourth wave and a fifth wave higher that's what it looks like to me from just looking at it on the monthly time frame a b c this would be a <clears throat> This would be B. And then we have one, two, three, 
pull back four to probably seventy nine. So maybe a little bit of a sell off during um, when the overall market is pulling back to about seventy nine, and then get one more move higher to. Uh, 116 all the way to 125 and that would complete the overall C wave and then after that is kind of unknown we, we don't know what would happen to that you'd probably get some kind of ABC move back down here and then who knows after that so right now I would say that XLE looks a lot stronger than XLF and we'll look at XLY now. XLY on the monthly time frame. <clears throat> so XLY did not have the same pattern as SPY. See where the corona crash is, but we can't make a new low in 09. So this potentially it's kind of hard to tell on this, really, to be honest, but uh, it looks, I'd probably have to go on lower time frames. <clears throat> it looks like ABC to me. Um, clearly goes through that. Um, It's kind of strange that it goes to new lows. Let's go on lower time frames. <clears throat> it just looks like a giant corrective wave that went higher, which is possible to me and I would just label this ABC this is not a impulsive move despite what it looks like it went higher but the whole thing is corrective to me so we're gonna label this a B C and then this move right here The same as pretty much all the all the rest of the um, sectors. This looks, looks a lot more like SPY than obviously energy and the financial sector look a little bit different. This looks a lot like SPY, and so I would expect probably similar movement going forward. But we have this right here is definitely going to be looks like W. X, Y, so same thing as SPY and the rest of them, we're looking for a move that's going to come down to probably the bottom of this parallel line, the 1.61 fib. is sitting at 81 it's gonna be hard to get this one down to 81 this one barely moves but 1.23 fib probably at 115 is another target if we clone this and look at the middle ground and just see time time wise we're looking at 113 by april be looking at 82 by May of 2023. So 
This one is very similar to Spy, and the other two are not anywhere near Spy. But if I was looking at these and I was going to pick one that I'd be more, most bullish on right now, it would be the energy sector. So maybe when the dollar starts reversing, gas is going to get more expensive. We're going to see a fifth wave here in the energy sector. It looks very similar to the dollar, actually. XLE and the dollar have a lot of correlation as one more move higher for a fifth wave. So I would expect XLE to be your best bet if you're going to pick a um, sector like that, one of the X's. XLY is pretty weak. XLF is also pretty weak. QQQ, same thing as SPY. We're looking for minimum 237, probably all the way down to 205, and at the farthest, probably 184. IWM, we are looking for... Uh, 138 if the first wave is overall finished expanded fifth wave we'd probably go all the way to 400 but i would say it's more likely to come down here to 138 again by april 2023 spy uh, we're coming down here to a minimum probably 325 330 so that's pretty much it uh one more thing the dollar i think the dollar is one of the most important things to look at right now and that is because if we zoom out here on the monthly chart, you'll see that we have three, four, we have one, two, three, four right now. I know it's kind of hard to see with all my lines, but five wave move. We have one more move higher to 120 to 125. And this is the reason that is going to sell off the whole market over the next six months or so. So I've been looking for this fourth wave for a long time, so I'm pretty confident in this that we are going to see another move higher to like 120 or so. So I would be looking for a lot of downside, but if you're going to pick one thing out of this that's going to perform decently well, it looks like XLE might be that um, one you'd pick out. So that's it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. I do pretty much daily updates on SPY dollar vix yields a lot of time just trying to add in some more i do bitcoin too sometimes but trying to add in some more to get a little bit more of the bigger picture and it's showing that energy should be strong for the next um at least probably going into the spring or so so that's it uh have a good weekend and i will see you for the next update